Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Huge shout out to SP for giving me everything I need to make this video. They provided the monster, all the cells need to take this monster to rank 5, any gems I use will be reimbursed, and they also provided the food to feed this monster all the way to level 150. It's time to review Adderlas. Adderlas absorbs the life forces of everything around it. Sometimes until its soft body is completely bloated with energy. A terrifying hybrid between abomination and a native pitch of plant, it lurks underground until feeding time. If you look at the top of this monster, it's pretty cool. It's it, like its helmet, its eyes, its like mouths and faces. There is like gas coming out of one of them. It is a creepy looking monster. In terms of the evolving trait, it's an abomination monster, of course. Rip, serpent attacks will destroy you. You have the hardened trait, and then you have life regen um, to yourself at the start of the battle. Watch out for the reverse healing mechanic. Um, as far as traits goes, at the end of the day, you really should have hardened abomination like traits. I don't know, they haven't been impressing me thus far. But yeah, that's the trait. Let's see how this monster compares in terms of stats to the other monsters in the game. Okay, we can see we have a very, very, very impressive life stat. It is the second highest stat in the game, tied with some giants like Koi Boy, Fropsy, and Goliath. Is. This is a great life stat. Only Negan, the exclusive Walking Dead monster, has a higher life stat than the ones I just mentioned. In terms of a power stat, this monster is not an attacker by any means. We're talking 10,681, the average being 10,700, so slightly below average. And in terms of the speed stat, you're looking at a pretty slow monster, 8217, um, 8217 tied with Copperbeard, Phase Rug Pro, and Koi Boy, the average being 8421. If we go back to the life stats, Negan is a taunt monster. Koi Boy, I forgot what he is or does. I have mine hatched, I think. I don't know if he's leveled up. I forgot if he was a taunt monster. Uh, Fropsy, Taunt, Goliathus, I think Taunt. Fropsy might be Mega Taunt. Um, so it's it's surprising this monster has such a life, high life stat, but doesn't rely on taunting and protecting their teammates. So, let's see what he actually does. Feed me deals low special damage to an enemy, steals life from targets. Your life force deals low nature damage to an enemy, applies bleed to one enemy. Insatiable appetite heals by 30%, applies double healing to itself. Bloodsucker deals low special damage to enemies and steals life from targets. So a lifesteal monster, although he doesn't have a high power stat, he does have the high life stat, but not the high power stat. Okay. Evil Leech applies double healing to itself first. That's important. And then deals heavy special damage to an enemy. Then steals life. This is the kind of scale I really love and enjoy. So, double healing. Deal heavy special damage so you don't got to worry about element disadvantages. And then you steal the life. I like this skill. Aversion Spikes deals modern nature damage to enemies. Removes positive status effects and applies bleed. I do wish it would have removed the positive effects first, but it's okay. It's strong AoE, or moderate AoE, that's doing bleed at the end. Life Energy Gas heals by 50, then heals allies by 10. That's weird to see just a 10% um, heal. Torture Immunity. Honestly, you had me at Torture Immunities. That 10% healing is icing on the cake. Yeah, the Torture Immunity to the team is super valuable, super useful in this kind of Monster Legends, um, what is it, meta we're in, uh, where dots just kill. Life Spreader heals allies by 30, applies life regen to allies, which is a 20% heal for the next three turns, which can also help combat dots, but I think together, um, these two skills really combat dots. Uh, I don't know. I, I, so, this is the free PvP monster. Honestly, who cares? Like, you're not going to use them, you don't need them long term. I want to run him as an attacker just for Evil Leech, but he, he could also be like a team speed, just healer getting rid of dots. Um, and it's unfortunate that that's odd. Like, if he would have had a stun skill, then you could have been like... Or any deny skill, you could have been like... Or fear, even. This monster can get rid of dots on your team, heal your team, and stun the enemy. That would have been nice. Or immobilize the enemy, control the enemy. But the way he is now, unfortunately, it doesn't work. Like, if you give him strength runes, you capitalize on evil leech, but that's it. You can't really utilize your non-damaging skills because it's kind of a waste. That being said, you do want life energy gas again for that torture immunity double healing to itself um so we have our evil leech we'll do the aoe and i would say you want just one more skill that deals damage oh my gosh the, the attacks are so weak it deals low special no they're so weak heals la by 30. ha huh, i'm not confident in this but if i was to use this monster again it'd be for that evil leech it's a three turn cooldown too adderlas why we're never gonna use you like this 
Ha, let's see what your relics are. Please tell me you can revive or something. Double trap, oh my gosh. So, recover stamina, maybe drain enemy stamina. So do both since you can with this monster. Um, so there's that. I think I need that for war. Um, we'll do, <laughs> it's been a while since I've done a golden relic. Um, I guess this monster has some sort of sustainability. So this monster would be someone I would give him black moon. That's black hole, black moon. To res my monsters if they die. Uh, in terms of a rune setup, gosh, um, so you can immune to torture, heal, life steal. Well, I want to see how powerful that life steal is. So we'll do two strength and a team speed. And I mean, realistically, again, realistically. If you have other options, use your other options. Because you really have this main skill to attack with. Darn. Okay, maybe it'll help if I run Amania to turn transfer, give damage boost, running Sigil so I can reuse that skill. Um, and then I have the Nature Beast for extra life. I am a Nature Monster myself. And then I can use the Torch Immunities to help my King. So let me give him a Life Rune. So he can stay alive longer. Okay. So maybe this setup will work, especially as an attacker Adderlass. I'm not even going to showcase the support Adderlass because it's really just swap the runes for team speed runes. And he's just there to help your taunt or megaton monster stay alive and protect him from all the dots. Alright, um, I will start off with the churn transfer actually. Because I have nature. Oh, but I don't have a nature based attack. I have a special based attack, right. If only I had a nature based attack, magic monsters beware. Um, I guess we'll just do Evil Leech. As an attacker, you could you could give him Holter's Gun. Alright, let's see. Photosensitivity. Well, nope, didn't help keep him alive. He, he's dead. Okay. Supreme Fun. Stun me. Black Moon. Res. The enemy got their ult. I lost Amania. I lost my Megaton Monster. Lethal Smoke removes 50% bleed and poison. So dot play. Uh, let's kill you with that. Alright, 1v1 Galvanus. Let's do this. Um, let's give you a bleed. Let's do a heals by 50%. Yeah, wow. I think I can, I can win the 1v1 though. Thanks to that. Recharge. Um, Evil Leech. Auto burn blood. Oh my god. Oh my god. I really thought I was going to win the 1v1. <laughs> Just got to show you those monsters, man, with their skill set. They're tough. They're tough. Alright, let's see. Okay, interesting. Poseidonia. Alright, let's. This time we'll do a double damage boost. That way I should be able to OTK, no problem. Rich, Enlightenment. Alright, we definitely want to kill Galvanus first. Boom. Let's see how much damage I take from other dots. Goodness gracious. Finish you off. I don't care about Poseidonia. Oh, they have Anticipation. See, it's a, it's a balance because, like, if I was to run Team Speed, then the first thing I do is the Immune to Torture to help my King then I'm missing an attacker unless Amani is my attacker and then I'm running team speed on Adderless. But again, like there's other monsters I can use. I wouldn't have to be Adderless. So those are the kind of like pros and cons lists you have to make. Yeah, he's, he's not like necessary. Evil Leech. I mean, I he, that's like an old generation monster. That's why I was able, able to OTK plus I had buffs. Ah, oh, man. I love the... I love two mechanics. Reverse healing and lifesteal. But I feel like SP never really gets to make them utilized because there's just better alternative. Like right now... You want Pierce. If it's not monster doesn't have Pierce, who really cares? And that's why a lot of these battles are just like very, very repetitive. Enlightenment, of course. See, like, what do I do in this case? Um, I guess I can torture immunity. But he, actually, I can't even apply torture immunity thanks to him having nanovirus. I would have need nanovirus cleansed and then torture immunity. All right, evil leech, bam. And again, Holter's Gun could be more useful. Get some extra turns. Uh, gosh, darn it. Let's see if we can kill you. Success. Why'd you get rezzed and I get wrecked? Oof. 
There's that res. Faith. Return transfer. Enlightenment. Adderless is going to kill again. With evil leech. Oh, we have evasion. Darn it. Um, life spreader. Get that life regen. Um, let's cleanse that. It's a trade disabled dots or mega stun. Damage boost. Trick of the light. Catholicon. It's hard, man. It's hard to run with these monsters. Um, Evil Leech. Okay, look at this. Look at the life. It's 251k. Look at my life stack. Glorious. Let's get rid of that. Enlightenment. Turn transfer. <laughs> it never ends. Let's do this. Big heal. Oh, gosh. Cleanse. Blind and major damage reduction, is it? Oh my goodness. Double damage. Watch it get positive effects removed. Enlightenment, Nimbus, Cursed, Demonic Angel. And I am dead. Okay, guys. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not much to showcase. I could give him team speed runes, but it's basically the same in terms of the skill set. And he'd just be there for that torch immunity. Which begs the question, like, who's your attacker? It would have to be, like, King of Tomb. Um, Adderless as team speed and then one attacker with Pierce to hopefully kill whoever you can so Yeah, unfortunately, that's it for Adderless. I think whether you get him or not get him it doesn't really matter He's not a big deal. It's not a monster you're gonna be investing in long term with so hope you guys enjoyed the video Nonetheless any and all thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much and remember to subscribe